Hello viewers, we'll be going over the S&P 500 ETF ticker symbol SPY. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, the technical performance of each model, how we find the models, and the day-by-day -day forecast for the S&P 500. So back to the technical analysis, today we're up 41 basis points on the 1-hour chart. We are now positive MACD, and as for the 4-hour chart, we are still in a negative MACD. We do see a, a good possibility we may turn to positive MACD soon. As for the daily chart, we just reached positive daily MACD as well. We broke above the 200-day moving average, this yellow line, and we may find, find it as a temporary support. And at the moment, we do see a possible resistance if we continue to move up higher. We do have a gap that was made back in March 6th to March 9th and that gap is around a price of $292.80 and if we use the Fibonacci retracement that also coincides with that price percentage as well that coincides with the 62% 62% retracement from bottom to where we are right now and as for support, if we do manage to fall lower, I do see a possible support around the 18-day moving average, this purple line, which is around a price of $271. So that will be our next support if we do manage to fall lower. So let's just remove this retracement line. And if we were to move higher to hit resistance, that is around 4.5% to the upside. And if we were to move lower, the support level is around 3%, 3.2% to next support level. So let's head to the day-by-day -day probability model. Again, this model is now available in the link below, so do check it out. So as the days progress to the seventh day, we have, I would say, a 100% chance for the S&P 500 to fall between negative 1.5 to 3% reason why we have 100% chance is we only are using one model to base the models on and that model happens to be June 4th 2002 to August 28th 2002 and this blue line is our current trend and overlapping it is a trend that I believe is the best match so let's just examine the day-by-day -day forecast for the S&P 500 in the next coming days so we have one day out two days out three days out four days out five days out six days out and seven days out so let's compare why these two trends are similar so what we have here on the current trend we average below the middle Bollinger Band grind along the bottom Bollinger Band proceed to make a reversal to touch the middle Bollinger Band and then once more continue on higher to the upper Bollinger Band now the trend in question, we average below the middle Bollinger Band, grind along the bottom Bollinger Band, revert back to the mean to the middle Bollinger Band, and finally touch the upper Bollinger Band. So what we have is one, two, three points. We also have one, two, three points. So there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. So the model that we just examined was June 4th to August 28th, 2002, back then the S&P 500 was down roughly around 1.7%, and that coincides with the standard deviation between negative 1.5% to negative 3%. So let's examine the technical performance of the model. We are currently in these, this model trend, and we're down 21% from monthly high, up 20% from monthly low, down 10 basis points from 10 simple moving average, up 3.5% from 20 simple moving average, and down 35 basis points from 50 simple moving average. And now the trend that we just examined, it was down 14% from monthly high, up 13% from monthly low, and down 2.5% from 10 simple moving average, and up 50 basis points from 20 simple moving average, and down 36 basis points from 50 simple moving average. There are technical similarities among the two trends, so do keep that 
in mind. Again, these models are now available in the link below, so do check it out. If you enjoy this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.